Okay, this is the second video on the Smoothie World series of videos. I'm going to show you now, uh, having created your site, how to set up your master page and your navigation. Hopefully you've already set up your site or watched the first video showing you how to do that. Um, if you haven't done, stop this video, go back, watch the first video and then come back to this one. Um, so here we are, I've got a blank site. Uh, before we actually go into our master page, I'm just going to show you a few of the things you can do here. Um, We've got here uh, sort of your pages. These are the pages your site contains. When you set it up, you would have said how many pages you want. I would said five, so I've got a home page, then page two, three, four, and five. Um, over here, I've got a few options for putting in text or images. Um, I can also use the insert menu to add those sorts of things, including interactive objects and other things as well into my site. Um, here, I could pick from the quick builder as well, there's like a list of different things we can add in. So we could drop in uh, Facebook functionality, uh, we can put in a Twitter widget that will show tweets and so on and so forth. Um, the button strip for social networking where you can choose which social networks you want in there and then it gives you instantly all the different buttons to link to the pages. So lots of really useful things that you might want to include in Smoothie World. Well worth exploring this and seeing the sort of things you can do Okay, um, don't assume that we're always going to tell you what to do. We expect you as this project to explore the software and find out what it's capable of. Okay, so that's sort of how you put things onto the pages. Um, let's first look at your master page then. So a master page is like the template. Whatever you put on the master page, it will go onto all the other pages as well. So your home page, your menu wraps page, your uh, menu smoothies page, um, your locations page, all those sorts of things. If you put it on the master page, it'll be everywhere else. So to get to the master page, it's really easy. You just go to view and master page and click on that. Now, it doesn't look very different. However, you are now looking at your master page and you can tell that because if you go back to view, now you've got the option not master page, but just straightforward page. And if you really observe it, you'll notice down here, it also shows what page we're looking at. So we can either be looking at the home page, page two, page three, or the master page. So let's go back again to the master page. Now our master page doesn't have anything on it yet. Probably the first thing we want to do is a site logo. So on our master page, we want to put logo. So in order to do that, I, I've already made a logo. Um, you might use a logo making website to do this. Um, but let's say we've got a logo and it's saved on our computer, so we can go to insert picture from file, okay, and then you just need to go and find out wherever you've put your logo, and we can open it, and drag where we want it, so I don't want it to take up too much of the website, so I'm going to put it up here in my corner. Okay, so now we've got a logo. If I now were to look at any of my other pages, because this is on my master page, so let's say we go to our home page, you'll see that there's the logo, it's on page two as well, it's on page three. So it's on all the pages because it's on the master page. So we can move it around, we can make it bigger and smaller, and it will make changes to all the other pages that it's on. Um, what else might we like to see? Well, I'd quite like to have a bit of a navigation bar on here. Um, so I'm gonna. Here is the navigation it's given us to start with. I'm not sure I want it there. I think I want to move it down, and I'd quite like it to maybe be a bit longer and take up the full page width, probably. So um, let's edit it. So what we can do is we can, with it selected, we can go to Edit Navigation Bar, and we can choose different types. Um, so under the Type menu, there are several different options you can go for. Um, I'm not sure which is going to be closest to what I want. There are lots, so you can choose what you like. I don't think I like any of those. Designer. Mm, that's probably a simple one. Quite like that. Might go for that design. So press OK and ah, it's changed its design, which is good, but it's still not quite how I want it to be. Um, so Let's have a look and see if we can change some of the elements of the design. Well, the first thing you'll notice is it says home, page two, page three, page four, page five, and that's not very good. Uh, so we want to change the page names. 
In order to do that, go over here where our pages are, because this is where it's getting the names from, right click on one and go to page properties. And then we can change the page name up here. So I'm going to call this one menu and I might change the page title as well to menu. And while I'm at it, why not change the file name so it makes sense. Okay, so press OK, and now that's changed from home, menu, um, let's have another one, let's say our smoothie bars, so this is sort of our locations, okay, and that probably, there we go, our smoothie bars, um, what can we put in this one, let's do this one, could be called five a day, where we might put the information about doing five fruit and veg a day. And finally, I might have one called contact us. Okay, so I've changed the page names and my navigation bar has automatically updated to take account of those new names. I'd quite like to change these and get a nice green background. So again, I'm going to click on it, I've right clicked and go to edit navigation bar. And we can go to appearance and we can change what each button looks like by clicking on the button. So this is the sort of button we want to change. We can either choose a different button from the designs, so that might be a bit easier. Um, so that's instantly sort of updated. We want to probably stretch buttons to fit the width as well so that they fully fill out the width of my navigation bar. So I'm going to edit it and just change that background green slightly because it's not quite the right green for me. So I can click on the button and I've actually selected the background here. And all I need to do is use this paint tool, change the fill colour to something a bit close to my site's green. Click and it should change that colour. But I could also select the text and change the text color as well by pressing color. And there are various colors built in, or I could choose my own color by pressing more colors. And again, I could choose a definite color that I could use, like orange. I might not be a very good cover color. I'll leave you to decide. In fact, I know it's not a very good color, so maybe I'll, I'll take it back to white. The reason it's not very good is it won't be easy to read. Now, down here shows you what the button will look like in different states, we call them. So it's going to look like this normally. All the time it will look like white text on a green background. This one says that down is when the mouse is pressed down on the button, it'll look like this. And actually I'm quite happy with that, but I could change if I wanted. The hover one is how should it look when your mouse is kind of hovering over the menus. This one I'd like to change, so I'm going to click on this one. And it should update and allow me to change it. I might need to double click. Yeah, if you double click on it, and I'm going to make it go um, orange when I hover the mouse over it. So let's click on that background. Let's change the fill, fill color. Let's get more colors. Let's try a kind of orangey color. Okay. Right, and now I'm going to commit my changes and I get a bit of a preview. So as you move your mouse over, you can see that as I'm hovering over, they're going orange. And if I were to click down on one, it goes dark green. Do you see that? So the currently selected one is also still dark green, it's the same as the down one, uh, but the hover overs are orange, which suits my site's branding really well. So I can press OK on that now. And now my navigation bar has been suitably updated. And that should appear, let's move that out slightly so it fills the full width, that should appear on all of my pages now. So if I go to page, to my home page, there we are, got it. My menu page, there it is. And you can see how the menu is sort of darkened to show it's the active page. Smoothie bars, yep, five a day. Okay, they're all updated. And I could do other things with my master page as well. So for example, I could put in here, if I wanted to, um, 
a big phone number for people to sort of, I don't know, order now. Um, or something like that. And that would also appear on every single page. So let me make that a bit bigger. We want it nice and bold for our, probably have to select the box first. We want it nice and bold for our website. It's going to be very bold. I possibly have made that a bit too big. That looks a bit better. Uh, and you can obviously play around with the fonts you choose as well uh, to be however you want it to be. And that too will now be on all of our uh, pages. And we might want to put a background image in here. We could put pictures of smoothies and things to really catch the eye. Okay, so that is how to set up your master page and set up your navigation bar. And now you'll be ready to add all sorts of other content to individual pages. Just remember, when you start adding other content, you must leave the master page and go to the pages that you want to edit. If you start editing and putting them on the master page, let's say you put pictures in or text in, that will appear on all your other pages and you don't want that. So if you're in your master page, make sure you leave the master page and go to the page that you actually want to edit before you start editing it. Hope that makes sense. Uh, good luck with getting on with your sites. I'm really looking forward to seeing what you produce.